And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ezreal Swain. This is going to be an interesting deck putting together Ezreal and Swain. This list here was submitted by a viewer, so I haven't actually tried this deck out yet, but it looks looks really, you know, looks pretty interesting, but it is going to be kind of burn like but we're going to be going bigger. But you can see that we have like the Legion Saboteur, Crimson Disciple, some of these kind of cards that can just, you know, attack and deal damage to the Nexus whenever Legion Grenadier dies, deals damage to the Nexus and stuff like that. Oh, what's up, Matt? Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub. Y'all get some hype in for our new sub. We don't have Boom Crew Rookie, though. That kind of seems like a, a two drop that we would want, like, you know, even over like Legion Grenadier, but um, you know, we're gonna we're gonna kinda play it as as is for now. So, you know, like we're we're going bigger, but then you know, like all that like non-combat damage can just kinda add up towards Swain and leveling up Swain. But there's sometimes that your opponents have like good amount of removal for that and and you know you don't get to get through. And so that's what we got our Ezreals. We have um gotcha instead of get excited, which I'm I don't know about that, but but we're gonna go with Gotcha. We got Static Shock, we got Mystic Shots, um, Death's Hand. So we have all those things that can target. Also Noxion Fervor, Thermogenic Beam. So we have a good amount of things that get to target to start leveling up Ezreal. But then also Ezreal can just you know attack and make more Mystic Shots for us. We can also do that with Ezreal. And then the last thing, late game, we got the full three Leviathans. This is just a sweet card. A 5-8 Overwhelm, a round start, deal one to the enemy Nexus three times. That is crazy. So yeah, we got the full three Leviathans at the top end also. Um, all right, but there we go. So that's Ezreal Swain. Let's let's give this a try. This will be my first time playing. We're going to go over to Ranked. Let's play five games. Oh, oh, really, B-Squared? Their voice lines for the next set have already been released? Well, uh, or they've already been leaked? Well, I won't, I won't say, yeah, I won't uh, spread any of those. But yeah, you're upset that it showed up in your YouTube recommended? Yeah, I would, I would kind of be too. I'd want to be surprised by the champions, but... Um. but thank you so much, Matt. Alright, what are we facing? So we're going to be facing Yasuo. Haven't played against Yasuo in a bit. Um, I'm thinking about just keeping all this. This looks like a good Ezreal hand. Mystic Shot doesn't usually kill that much. I mean, it kills Katarina. I don't know. We'll try it out. This... I could definitely see also mulliganing Ezreal and Mystic Shot, those two cards, and try to draw like some of our other like ones and twos. Ezreal is also like a champion that's more powerful whenever she's leveled up. Uh, no, if I don't cast anything, then yeah, let's not cast that because I want to I want to save the mana so that whenever I play Ezreal next turn, we'll have the mana to play a free Mystic Shot. So it says, is the deep mechanic too simple and overpowered or something? What makes you not like it? Yeah, I don't I don't love the idea of just like eliminating your, your cards in your deck and so that like your your um, the thing that you're doing like sometimes also just like mills you out and I just I just don't really like how you're playing big creatures and their ability is to get bigger like with the deep it's just well they get plus three plus three like that just feels really arbitrary that's just like okay well they get plus three plus three now like like why like why why is it always plus three plus three also like why isn't it different for different cards or something I don't know I just don't I don't Don't really like it. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe 
speed things up a little? How about you speed things up a little? Life and death on the plane's edge. So next turn we're looking at five mana. We could have six if I don't if I don't play Saboteur, we can have six. And I think it's probably more important to have six mana. So I can have two for the Mystic Shot that Ezreal makes, and then four for Gotcha to kill the Yasuo. So that's kind of why I had the re the that recall card in my Twisted Fate deck that we just played, but it we just never really drew it. Never that kind of situation scenario never came up. But that's like the that's the whole upside is like save your champion, put a Shadow Assassin into play for one mana. That's like the best case scenario for that card. annoying. That's going to stun my Ezreal. That's annoying. It's our reckoners real good. So I think I need a thermogenic beam the reckoner, but I also kind of want a thermogenic beam Yasuo. Do have double mystic shot that can take out Yasuo. Also at 10, I want to try just burning them down. Three out of five. It's a close game. I, I think I wouldn't mind playing Leviathan this turn. All will kneel before Noxus. I think that's fearsome. If 
I block with this Ezreal, then these turn into regular Ezreals again. They're not Mystic Shots, even though I'd kind of rather them be Mystic Shots. Eight mana cards are not usually that good against the Will of Ionia Arachnoid Sentry deck. Best case scenario, I go to two. Routes closed. You're between me and glory. No way. Artillery barrage. That's awesome, Unchained Bear. Cool, you've been having tons of success with the Mage Seekers build. Nice. You're welcome. Hey, Nathan. Yeah, just... I basically... I just have the Twitch and the YouTube. So, you know, you're already here at Twitch. Here's the link to the YouTube channel. And then, besides that, I also have Discord. If y'all are Discord fans... Oh, looks like I need to fix the Discord link. So that's gonna that's gonna be the fifth one. Is that gonna do two damage? I mean, I guess we'll just figure out. We'll just find out because we're gonna let that resolve. So yeah, so it just does two and then levels up. That's what I thought. I didn't think it would level up and then do five. I think there's a link to the Discord in the the Twitch. Oh, it's down below. Um, hey there, knives. I will cut out your tongue. Also, does this work? Hmm, that's a bummer. Uh, okay, well that's game. Underestimate. Definitely need that in play. Oh, whoops! Not deck list. What am I doing? Try to keep up. There you go. Discord. Okay. Sorry, I'm back. Yep. Eight drops. Not so great against Will of Ionia, as I talked about before. And for a while, they weren't playing Will of Ionia, so, it, you know, we were we were doing okay. But once they bounced my eight drop, that was game. GG's. Yeah, the Yasuo deck's pretty high variance. Like games that you don't have Yasuo, the deck doesn't isn't very good. But then even if you do have Yasuo, if you don't have like Minotaur Reckoner, like there's like just a, a few short number of cards you really have to have with that deck. It's just when you do have them, your deck's really good. When you don't, your deck's really not good. All right, we're playing against Burn. I think I'm gonna Mulligan everything. Could keep Noxion Fervor. I'll mulligan it though. We're gonna just mulligan everything. So this will be interesting to see how our 
bigger burn deck does against normal burn. I don't really know the answer to that question. Set up well where if they would have had the Imperialist uh, to do damage to this and then and everything, we have the gotcha at instant speed. And so I want to keep that gotcha available. That's why. Boom. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right, we're one and one. All right, it's almost midnight for you, Zarati. Cool. Have a great night. And yeah, uh, thanks thanks for checking out the rest of them on YouTube. Let me just not have a thumbnail for this Twisted Karma. Let me see if I can message Yud real quick. Sorry, sorry. Uh, burn matchup again. Keep this. Yeah, I like the double thermogenic beam opener. Gila, I'm, I'm new to card games. Why is the burn deck so strong as this game, and is there any way to beat it? Um, so basically, two weeks ago, or two weeks ago, the burn deck was not very good at all. And it was basically all the same cards. It just added in a couple of new cards that really uh, that really improved it a bunch. Noxion Fervor, Imperialist, uh, Imperial Demolitionist. I should start learning this card's name. These two cards really did up the power level of the deck quite a bit. Um, I expect I expect that it's going to be nerfed the next time that there's an up that there's a a patch for nerfing. I think that's going to happen. Um, but for now, it's just it's just really efficient. It's just more efficient than, than other things. Um, hey, Choco. And as far as, like, what to do to beat it, I don't know if there is... There's not, like, a great answer as, like... Like, this definitely beats Burn. Like, there's not... There's nothing like that right now. I don't think, that, yeah, I don't think they're going to nerf a ton, but just some small nerfs can go a long way. Like, like I kind of expect, like, Boom Crew Rookie to turn into a 1-3 instead of a 1-4. I could see them doing Disciple to be a 2-2 two -two instead of a 2-3. Potentially. I mean, I think it's just going to be a couple of small things like that that could make a pretty big difference. So this is weird. I don't really want to trade all this stuff away because I have the Static Shocks.
Taking out these saboteurs that do damage to me whenever they attack. Damn it. Um, yesterday I, I played a deck um, called Karma Thresh Control that had a whole lot of um, good life gain in it. It's just, you know, surviving the the first early onslaught, like y'all are saying. But uh, we did some good stuff with that deck. Do the damage over here before um, a transfusion pumps that up. I'll get y'all that video. Here you go. All right, attack time. You break it, you buy it. Not done yet. Got a lot of salesmen. Let's make a deal. If they don't break, they'll burn. Make the Empire. This is getting a little risky, though. 12 life. They have a lot more direct damage than I do. Darn, if they would have played something pre-combat, I would have just done 6, six damage thermogenic beam. Yeah, withering well with with kegs out is pretty insane. No. Explosives pride. No. Looks like GG. All I need is to get excited now. Man, shouldn't have played the Static Shock. Should not have played the Static Shock. Lesson learned. Don't really have it, any like great draw right now. It's just hope they don't have to get excited. Obviously they do. You know, we're just at 10. 10's too low, just decimate, noxion fervor, get excited. Man, I don't feel like I should have lost that game. I, it, if I just didn't cast that static shock when I did. You know, I, I didn't protect against noxion fervor. That's what I needed to do. So I, that was... That was my misplay, and that against that burn deck, it's so good that if you make a small misplay like that, you know, if you just cast your Static Shock at the wrong time, boom, that's game. I know, they always have the card you don't want them to have. That's, that is true, and that's with every deck. That's not just with burn. Every deck always has the card I don't want them to have. Mulligan. I 
know, right? Get Excited has cost me so many games by itself. I'm, I'm still not getting excited about it. So they gain zero life from the grasp. You can say, oh man, we didn't get to do the four damage. They also didn't gain any life from the grasp because they were already at 20. So sure, I could have dealt three to them with the Noxian Fervor, but you know what? We're going to be able to do do three to them basically any time we want, so it's okay. Glory, excuses for all. No! Come closer. I don't bite. That's a lie. So it took us two cards to deal with the Elise, but we also one of them drew a card, so it was really like it took us one card to deal with the Elise. I should level up the Swain. Make the Empire proud. Empire above all. Swain's all about that Empire. There's nothing to fear. All right, doesn't really make sense to attack, honestly. I'm not going to going to attack. So if we just wait. We can do damage to their Nexus, stun stuff. Where are you at, Ezreal 3? I want to stun this Vi. Obviously, like, playing Leviathan would be nice. I want to stun that Vi. I do have seven points of burn in my hand. And 
no hope and that's it. That's game. They have like they need a get excited. Alright, looks like it's game. By attacking, we kind of forced their hand to do something and act first, and then we got to act second and throw all those up. Just chilling right around the 100s today. Started the day up at uh, 100, then 500 on the day. We're at 105 now. Just kind of win one, lose one right around here. Come here. You want to come up here? Come on. Oh, here's that puppy. Look at that. That's a puppy. There's a puppy. It's a puppy. Honestly, there's not really... I, I haven't really noticed that, you know, that... Uh, B squared says, "What at what rank do things start to get hard? Like, honestly, like platinum, diamond, masters—they're all the—they're all the same, to be honest. Like, it, at least to me, I didn't really uh, notice any difference. They're basically all the same. Hey, giant, what's up? Yeah, I'm doing good. Thanks for catching the the stream live here. Yeah, I started did an early stream, so some people, different people could." catch the stream and I think I think I'm gonna do this a, a couple of times a week I'll have to think about it and uh, think like what days I want to do it but maybe like twice a week do an early stream like this um, and I'll have it I'll have it be the same you know I'll, I'll have like a schedule and of course I'll I'll say what that's gonna be but I I've been liking this and we've gotten a lot of people you know a lot of people in here and everything It's a good time for gotcha, but that is just a generic 2-2, two -two, so that's not a good thing to gotcha. I'll try anyone. Looks like puppy's laying down. My Leviathan. Ow. You could at least warn me first. What? Taking my Crimson Disciple? Talk about rude. Talk about rude. <laughs> oh, that was the warning. Safety. Oh. So I was, I was thinking if they would have hit. Um. No one's the wiser. That card's pretty great. If they if they would have hit or if they would have played Twisted Fate, then I would have had Mystic Shot for the Twisted Fate. Um, yep, yep, yep. B is Wow, they're just having a different warning shot, not even the one that I knew about. Deck's great. Like all these bilge water cards. Oh man. 
Their deck's pretty great. I mean, I'm, I'm just jealous to get... They drew three Black Market Merchants and a Pilfer Goods. They're going to start playing a whole bunch of stuff for free. Like that. Believe in the heart of the cards that I stole. Are they going to play five mana Leviathan? That would be rough. I would definitely be dead if they just play a Leviathan. I mean, I'm at eight. Used cast salesman. One shot, all skill. They can give the fizz elusive by casting the warning shot and block, but they're just blocking with the two one. So that is an option. How much damage we got? Two, four, six, seven. I guess realistically, I got to start killing these things. The problem with the, like the problem with this mystic shot though is that they'll just play something else. Oh, or they do that. That's also a problem. Zero mana noxion fervors. Come on. Stole all my auction fervors. Best case scenario, I survive at one because I'm taking two and uh, they have the warning shot. I didn't check to see if Fizz was going to level up. I knew, they could ca I knew they could cast the warning shot to give it. I guess I didn't check to see if, it, if the fizz was going to level up. I probably should have. I'm always up for a round or two. All right, well. GG's. Cool deck for the opponent. They had a they had a really really good hand. What's up? What's up, tested? You know, triple black market merchant is just incredible. And uh, have everything cost nothing and steal all that stuff. You know, so GG's. That's that's definitely the kind of deck I like to play though. So I can't I can't be too mad at it. Alright, so we ended up going two and three with our Ezreal Swain deck. Um our deck felt pretty good though. It didn't definitely didn't feel bad. I think that I would I kinda think I'd rather have Boom Crew Rookie than the Leech and Grenadier still. Um I don't like Death's Hand. I didn't like this card. 
two and one. I don't know. It's just not enough damage. Um, I do like Noxion Fervor a lot. I could definitely see just playing the third Noxion Fervor. I don't know. It just didn't really seem like we were like an Ezreal deck, you know? Like we were just we were just basically a, a slower burn deck. And I, I just don't know. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's kind of fit between the two. Um, Leviathan is awesome if you ever play it and it survives. And, like, you untap with Leviathan. This card's incredible. Uh, you know, one to the enemy nexus three times. But the thing is, is a lot of these games are fast. I mean, we played a few games there. Like, the games aren't... The games are over before turn eight. So, the games are over before turn eight. Then, then you know, like, what, what are we really doing with that card? But, um... Yeah, there we go. That's, you know, it's always good to try new things. It's always good to try new things. And hopefully this gave you some ideas also. Um, and, you know, if this is something you like trying out, get, you know, give it a try. It, it looked pretty good, even though, you know, two and three is not necessarily the best record. But uh, those games were close and they just didn't go our way. All right, that's Ezreal Swain, though. We got one more deck on the day. We're going to be playing some Dreadway combo up next. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Got any questions, anything like that, leave them in the comment section, and I'll answer them. All right, but that's it here for Ezreal Swain. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.